Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm planning to study dental surgery at the University of Hong Kong. My name is Norman and I plan to study aerospace engineering in NTU, which is in Singapore. And I, I might also apply to Imperial College London in the future to study um, aerospace engineering. I'm Janice Chen from Form 6 Juniper. I plan to study psychology at the University of California, San Diego. My name is Yannick and I'm studying a uh, bachelor's in philosophy, politics and economics at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. And in addition to that, I will also be going to flight school part-time. Oh, hi, I'm Shan Han and I'm planning to study physics at Hong Kong University. I'm Zion Chen and I plan to take a major in chemistry or com and a minor in computer science in either Hong Kong U, NUS or NTU in Singapore. My name is Jonathan and I plan to study international business and global management at Hong Kong U. Uh, personally, I believe that practice makes perfect. For content-heavy subjects like biology and English, um, I found spaced repetition to be really helpful. So I would study, I would break down my study materials into smaller and more manageable chunks and revise them systematically. I made a weekly study plan that included every subject with around three to four topics per subject. I then made a checklist to make sure that I fully covered um, all the topics, um, then revisit some that I needed to familiarize myself with and do past paper questions to learn about exam type questions. I think this is effective because um, you can cover everything needed, uh, learn what you're the most confident in and um, what the examiners are looking for in the exam. Um, I think that watching YouTube is the best strategy ever I've, uh, I've, I've found. Probably I think the second most um, important strategy is to find a partner with you to study along with you and you can basically when you two ask questions about a, a certain subject you can actually uh, solidify your knowledge and get better understanding of, uh, at the, uh, at, of the subject. Uh, so some of the strategies that I found most effective is uh, trying to reading, reading my own notes, uh, doing past papers and also asking uh, my classmates when there are things that I don't understand. For some uh, open-ended questions and long questions, I would try to revise some sample answers that my classmates have done before or that some practice answers that I've done before. Um, leading up to the exam, there were still a few concepts I found difficult to understand, so I would put more time into understanding the concepts the moment I learned them instead of leaving them for later. And I would also try to incorporate more review sessions throughout the diploma instead of having to relearn everything right before the exams. I would have devoted more time to studying Chinese. For example, I would put more time to studying paper two and reading more of the materials that the teacher provided us with. And also, um, put more effort into remembering the quotes that the teachers prepared for us even starting from the beginning of secondary school. I would say that I would study earlier bit by bit when I first started uh, when I first started doing IB so that I could have time to absorb, process and ask questions about unsure concepts. For example, um, instead of studying two weeks before the test, I would study every day after school on the new topics that were taught and revisit my notes. And also I would say I wouldn't be too hard on myself because too much uh, stress and pressure would be unhealthy for me and affect my academic performance. Uh, I think I should have been a lot more confident in myself because uh I ended up wasting a lot of time second-guessing myself in the exam, which resulted in a lot of time wasted. There are also some parts of the exam where I think I changed my answer and then it probably was right the first time. I would say that they really helped to provide a lot of guidance throughout my IB journey uh, and they provided a lot of advice and assistance when I was feeling lost, confused or burnt out. For example, they looked out for me and reminded me to take breaks and take care of myself when I was uh, working too hard. I'm naturally a very anxious person and I get uh, very easily overwhelmed. So being able to talk to them and having their emotional support was really helpful throughout the IB diploma. I think that my school played a really an important role in helping me to achieve good grades and I graduated from Creative Primary School and I found that the entire Creative School's continuum really inviting, supportive and really amenable. And I just found that people are, I mean here, we students, 
and uh, they are really uh, friendly when I try to ask questions about certain topics. And I just found that um, it, it helps me a lot in achieving good grades. And I also want to say thank you to my families for cooking me good food and to keep me healthy. So whenever I had something that I didn't understand, I would ask my peers. And also my teachers gave great advice throughout the years. And, and my uh, family made sure that I took some breaks throughout and made sure that I didn't feel burnt out during studying. I would advise them to start um, to work to working as hard as possible and doing that as early as possible because doing so would be very important for subjects such as Chinese and English because it helps them build a strong foundation. Um, having studied both Chinese A and English A, I think time management is very important when it comes to the many internal assessments that you will need to do. And also, despite the heavy workload, I suggest having enough sleep and maintaining a positive mental attitude. My advice for the younger forms would be to not place pressure on other people or on yourself based on others' expectations on you or your expectations on other people because everyone is human. Also, remember that if you think you have enough time for something, remember that you probably don't, so try and do it as early as possible. This advice is directed at IB Year 1 students in particular. You know, like stay on top of your internal assessments such as your IAs and IOs because um, they do matter a lot and so when you put a lot of effort in them and do them really well you can walk into the examination hall you know with at least a quarter of the IB points in your bag and that shapes off some stress and help you perform better in the examinations. Yeah.